Hi guys, Akil Mohudin here. Today I'm going to be talking about Hackintoshes, so let's get started. Okay, so what is a Hackintosh? So when you refer to this word Hackintosh, it means taking your own parts and building a computer instead of an OS like Linux, Ubuntu, well, Ubuntu is Linux, but um, something like that, and Windows. Um, use Mac OS X, and to be specific now, Mac OS X Mavericks, that's the newest version, 10.9, and you, it's special because Mac OS X only is available for Macs, which means, how do you get Mac OS X on a non-Apple product? So that's what a Hackintosh is, and to do that, there's, it's a little bit difficult, not too hard, you guys can go, um, on the website called Tony Mac x86 it's a wonderful website it says what parts are compatible with a Hackintosh and what parts are not compatible you know how to install the OS itself once your computer is built and it's just it's a really helpful website it'll be in the description in case you guys want to take a look at it I'm sure you guys have already heard about it if you already looked up the word Hackintosh and but anyways why does Hackintosh work the way it does? So, well, first of all, you have to get started. Um, if you want to have Mac OS X, you have to buy a Mac. So, whether it be an iMac, a MacBook Pro, MacBook Air, a Mac Pro, you know, any of those computers run Mac OS X because they come directly from Apple. And if you buy one of those, then you get Mac OS X. Of course, you can put Windows over that do boot it or something like that but you don't have to now if you want Mac OS X like I do and you don't want to buy a Mac um, then you make a Hackintosh so I'm not making a Hackintosh for some of the reasons others some people make a Hackintosh because they want to make their own um, computer that is more high-end than say like a MacBook Pro or an iMac but don't want to pay all the way the three thousand dollars for a Mac Pro. So that's one of the things, you know, so you can spend $1000 as you would on a Mac Book Pro and instead build your own computer and just make it a Hackintosh. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm not going to be taking $1000. I don't have that kind of money. Um I'm just going to be taking 400 $450 and building the best Hackintosh compatible computer that I can for that money. Now I'm going to be going over the parts list in a later video, so stay tuned if you guys want to see that. And I'm going to be building it here, showing it on YouTube, doing benchmarks, things like that. And so Mac OS X is only compatible with um, this thing, with Intel CPUs. And this is specific because Intel CPUs are the only things that run on Macs, right? Name one. Mac computer, one Apple computer that doesn't use an Intel CPU. There isn't one. They all use Intel CPUs. So does it make sense for Apple to make their computers compatible with a CPU that they're never going to use? No. So if you're building a Hacktosh, keep in mind, it has to be an Intel CPU. I don't know if it can go anything lower than an Intel i3. I think it might work but it just won't run smoothly, most likely. And it only works with some graphics cards, because what are the graphics cards that um, Apple uses? They only use NVIDIA graphics cards, for the most part. I think they all either use NVIDIA graphics cards or the integrated Intel 4000, 4600 graphics cards. And so if you're going to put a graphics card in this, then those are the only ones you can put in. Of course, if you buy an Intel CPU, it comes with the integrated graphics anyways. Now, you guys can obviously buy a Mac that would have just the um, i5, blah, 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 i7. So the new Mac Pros have like an i5 in the integrated graphics, or they have like i7 and these NVIDIA Iris graphics, something like that. I forget. Um, these NVIDIA graphics card, that's good. And that's like $2,000 plus. Dollars. So why would you pay $2,000? When you can get the exact same thing for 450 It doesn't make sense. So at least for my computer, I'm not going to be using a graphics card. 
just an i5 and integrated graphics. For a later time, I will probably buy a graphics card and stick that in. Um, but I said stay tuned, parts list coming in a later video. But anyways, if you guys um, are interested in making a Hackintosh, check out Tony Mac x86. And there's some other people online that I know have made Hackintoshes. Um, and my reason, specifically me, myself, and I, <laughs> for making a Hackintosh is that I want to try Mac OS X. Because I am sick and tired of Windows and their complete garbage. I'm, Windows is good. I like Windows 7. It was better than Vista. Don't get me started on that. Vista was complete trash. No offense, Microsoft, Bill Gates, whoever. Um, but Windows 7 really cleaned it up, and I liked it. Windows 8, no, I hate it. And, yeah, hate is a strong word. But I hate Windows 8. I don't think I'm going to be using it anytime soon. Maybe I'll do a dual boot of Windows 8, but Mac OS X primarily is what I'm going to be looking for. And I don't want to spend $1,000 just to try Mac OS X. So if you're cheap like me, thumbs up for you. So go ahead and build yourself a Hackintosh. Um, remember, Tony Mac x86 is a very important website. has everything that you need um, for it. I think you have to make an account to get some of the downloads that you need to make a Hackintosh. But again, small price to pay. Um, they don't give you any spam mail or anything, so it's just basically like a verification email. Blah, blah, blah. But anyways, that was my thoughts on Hackintosh. And you know what, guys? You guys should go out there, build this yourself one. Many of you are probably looking at this video on a Mac itself, but you guys could have made a Hackintosh for a lower price, unless you're using that Mac to travel with you. That's something really important. But let's just say this is my low-end iMac for cheap. All right, so I think that's going to about wrap up the video. Stay tuned for my next couple of parts of making this Hackintosh and installing Mac OS X on it. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.